Hey, listen, when you find yourself in a situation and you have an opportunity to either get defensive or get factual, I suggest you get factual. I had this exact scenario just the other day. I'm Christian Family. I am an expert on co-parenting and divorce. So the other day, I'm at the post office because I have been threatening for at least a year to get my children passports. So I'm all excited. I got all the paperwork together. I've gone to the United States post office website. This is what you do. You go down there, you get the passports, right? So I pack the kids up, we get down there. There's a long line. And this is the Saturday before Martin Luther King Day. And there was a little unrest in the city. You know, there was conversation about maybe you shouldn't be going places, but we went anyway. So I get there, there's a long line. I think, hmm, before I stand here, let me make sure I'm in the right place. So I cut the line kind of, right? I go off to the side. I see a woman who is standing behind there. Clearly she works here. And I'm like, hey, is this where you stand to get passports? And she says, yeah, if you have an appointment. It's been appointment only since March when COVID hit. And my thought in my mind was, work here <laughs> right which is defensive right like I felt a talk why are you coming at me like this I don't know this information and so as I'm telling the story to my mother she says well what happened there is you got defensive when you thought I don't work here she said you should have got factual and said well that's not what the website says because that's true right <laughs> the true thing is is that I was following the rules that the website said come down here walk in and get your passport. And in fact, I wasn't able to do that. I've been applying that factual versus defensive kind of rubric in a number of situations lately, because often people say things and they trigger me. I don't know about you, but people say things and they trigger me. And the question is, what's going on here? Why am I being triggered? What is it that I feel like is outside of my control here? What is it that is making me feel powerless? What is it that is making me feel angry? And usually all of those things are kind of the same thing. And so I urge you, if you're in a situation and you have an opportunity to get defensive, before you get defensive, instead decide to get factual. What's really going on here? What is inside of my control and what is not inside of my control? I think you'll find it makes your interactions with other people just a little easier. I'm Christian Family, your co-parenting and divorce expert. If you're interested in learning more about me, follow me on all the social medias at DivorceXN.